Hello, this is MD McCollum, and what we're going to do today is take a look at the iClone Character Creator Pipeline. We're going to prep a character out of Character Creator, then we're going to go into iClone, 3D Exchange, and from there into ZBrush, where we'll further enhance the character. Then we'll come back out through the pipeline. Now, using this pipeline, we don't have to know how to rig, weight scan, or anything like that. We can just concentrate on our character. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, what I'm going to do is prep this character, and this is just the stock uh, default project. And what I'm going to do is prep it to get ready to use in ZBrush. So with Actor selected, I'm going to reset it to Neutral. And then I'm going to go to Mail. And instead of 100, let's make this 150 on Base Mail. And 150 on Base Mail. And that's a face or head and body. Then from there, let's go to let's go to the jaw and the chin. What I want to do is I'm squaring them off a bit. Make this we can see it a little better. I'm just going to square it up some. Size okay, now let's go to shin and the actor. And let's pull it all the way down by all the way down. This is size waist. I want a very narrow waist, minus 150. Let's see. Yips. Okay. Now we can also grab it here and do certain things. I'm just going to lengthen it out a little. Lengthen these out a little. And arm, forearm size, upper arm size. Now, if we're going to do a character, usually something like hands and feet are quite a bit larger, but you'll find that the hand scaling is quite a bit larger than the feet scaling. I'm going to go with 40 on hands. Oh, that's a bit much. Let's go back to 30. And then foot. I think we'll go to sixty in it. Give you an idea. And then also the head itself. We'll want to oversize it. Let's see. Now one thing about the head is you can go back and forth. When you get ready to size it, you can size it in here. If you don't like it, you can come back in here and resize it. But I want it to be just a little bit bigger. Probably should go 25 just to be able to remember what it was. And we're starting to get starting to get our figure here. Let's see if there's anything else we should look at. Chest scale, chest width. Make them big in that regard. Don't think we'll go too far back. Let's see what we have for muscle. Add a little more muscle to him. And that's pretty much good. Let's see here. Leg. I think we've pretty much done it all. Calf size. There we go. So we have large feet, large hands, thin waist, large chest, some muscles, and of course, some thin legs. 
That'll work right there. Okay, so let's get ready for our journey through the pipeline. Let's go ahead and send this over to iClone. And what we're doing is using iClone and 3D Exchange to get it into a format that we can go into ZBrush with. So all I'm going to do with it selected is go edit in 3D Exchange. Okay, now we have our mesh in here, and what we're going to do is export it as an OBJ. And I'll just call this character 1, and we'll export it. 